Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video. So a lot of you guys have been asking me to elaborate more with the man in the middle attacks and more specifically uh, to show you how to use a tool called Etacap. All right, so for those of you who don't know what Etacap is, Etacap is a fantastic security tool that allows you to perform man in the middle attacks on LAN or on your, on your local network. All right, so it comes pre-installed and pre-configured in Kali Linux, which is, you know, fantastic. So you don't have to download or set anything up. Uh, all the, the only thing you need to do is you if you haven't logged into Kali Linux for a while, just update your packages and uh, make sure you're running and uh, make sure you're running the latest version. All right. So in the previous video, when we were looking at ARP spoofing with ARP spoof, uh, some of you actually noticed in the comments that I did not forward the packets uh, in the sense that um, I did not allow the, the the flow of packets through my computer being the man in the middle, uh, allowing it to flow to and back, uh, you know, th through to the router and back to the client or our target for this matter. Okay, so hopefully I can explain how to do that right now. I actually did it before the video, assuming that many people know how to do it. And a lot of people were saying that their connection isn't working. And uh, I actually remembered that, yes, that that is an essential uh, step. So I'm going to show you how to do it now. All right, so just open up your terminal and obviously make sure you're in root. It always helps. And now we're going to use the system control uh, command. So system control. And we now want to select the option uh, W to write. So W to write and net dot. Um, what was it? Net dot uh, IPv4. Yes, we want to forward IPv4 packets dot IP forward. Sorry, IP forward. IP forward uh, e equals to one. So the value should be equal to one. All right. So that is the command that will allow the, the flow of uh, packets through your computer uh, uh, as you're acting uh, between the router and the client. So just hit enter and it should give you the result saying, yes, uh, the the IPv4 uh, IP will, will the value should be one. All right. So once you've done, you're done with that, we can get started with Etacap, all right? So Etacap, as I said, is pre-installed with Kali Linux, so you can just uh, search for it, uh, and you can just go into your search menu and just go into Etacap, and you make sure you select Etacap Graphical, because that's what I'm gonna be elaborating in this video. So just click on it. Now, before we get started with actually, you know, performing any man-in-the-middle attacks, uh, you need to have a target. So in this case, I have a target here, all right? So I have a target there, and uh, this is a Windows 7 operating system. Uh, that uh, is going to act as our target. So we're going to try and uh, intercept the packets being sent between the Windows 7 operating system and my uh, and my router. All right. So once you've opened up Etacap, what you need to do, the first thing you need to do is you need to select your sniffing option. So usually if you're connected physically to the Ethernet, so what I mean when I say e uh, physically is you're actually connected to an Ethernet adapter or, or to a switch or to a hub, then I would recommend that you use bridge sniffing. So what, what this means is if you're in a situation like you're in an organization where you have, you know, your computer is connected to a switch that is also connected to other computers in the organization, I would recommend that you use the bridged sniffing. Uh, otherwise, in my case, I'm just going to use unified sniffing because I only want, I'm only using one adapter. There's no bridged connection. Okay, so now it's going to ask you to select your network interface. I'm going to select Ethernet 0 because that I'm using Ethernet right now. And by default, you can also select your wireless adapter if that's what you choose to use. So just hit OK. And now, as you can see, it's going to tell you that the unified sniffing process is started. And what you have to do now is you need to add a target. So you want to go into targets and you want to go into current targets. Now, as I said, this is very, very similar to ARP spoof where you would simply add your, your router IP address and your target IP address, uh, similar to what you would do with, uh, with our spoof. So, uh, what you would do with our spoof is you would firstly, uh, the, the first step would be to, to select your, uh, to select the target, uh, as the router IP address. And then you use the, your, your target IP address as the secondary one. So in this case, all you need to do is just add your, your, your target one IP address as your router. So, 192.168.1.1. That is my router IP address. It is your default gateway address, if that's what you're wondering. So you can just type in ifconfig and you can find your default gateway and just uh, get that and put it in here. Now you need to get your target IP address, which you can, which I'm going to do. And I can do using uh, my command prompt here using the ipconfig command. So ipconfig. It's been a long time since I've used Windows 7, but boy, it feels good. Uh, so there you are, 192.168.1.102. And we're just going to go into our target and hit add. And we're going to say 192.168.1.102. Uh, 
and uh, we hit OK. All right. So we've added our target and our IP address uh, and our router IP address. OK, so now we need to actually perform the uh, the ARP poisoning attack that will give us man in the middle access. So to do that is really very simple. Just go into man in the middle and click on ARP poisoning. And now it's going to ask you for optional parameters. Make sure you uh, check sniff remote connections and just hit OK. So once you've done that, uh, the ARP poisoning has begun and it's currently running. So now you can use a traffic or network sniffing tool like Wireshark or TCP dump, which is what we're going to be using. So if I just open up TCP dump, I really enjoy using TCP dump sometimes. So TCP dump, uh, TCP dump, and we can say uh, the interface is uh, Ethernet zero and we specify the, uh, the port, port 80, the target or actually the host is 192.168.1.102 being our target and we whoops for some reason we're getting an error uh port 80 um or uh, sorry about that n n n80 and we hit uh the port sorry i have to add the port command there it's actually been a while since i've used tcp dump and for some reason i keep on getting this uh, syntax error here so we've selected our host uh so n port 80 host and host so i forgot to add the and and there we are all right so yeah the syntax for tcp dump is quite confusing in the sense that you have to specify the uh you have to specify the interface that you're using you then have to specify the port which in this case we're using the tcp port and uh our host which is 192.168.1.102 that is the target ip that we want to sniff the traffic from so now if i go into my uh, windows operating system here and i just uh let me just open a new window here, like so. And I just try and open a site like reddit.com. All right, so reddit.com and I just go back to Kali Linux. And as you can see, there we are, the traffic is being captured uh, just as the, just the way we wanted it. Now, additionally, you can use Wireshark if that is what is comfortable for you, but there you go. That is how to perform a man in the middle attack with Etacap. It's really very simple. The process is exactly the same as to what you would find with ARP spoof. And that's because they're both using the RP poisoning method. All right. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for the support on the channel. We have really, really grown uh, this month, this year. And our target, our first target is 50,000 subscribers. Our second target for the year is 100,000 subscribers. And I'm really, really pushing forward to it. Thank you so much for everything, you guys. Uh, if you found value in this video, please leave a like down below. If you have any questions, any at all, hit me up in the comment section on my social networks or on Kick. All right, and you can check out my website for the latest hacking news, tutorials, and guides. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace.